Alright guys, so I don't have much time, so I've prepared a script quickly in advance to show you guys how to use the different variables in the macro mod for, by Mumphrey. Um, I'll link it down in the, script, the mod down in the description below. So, um, just to get to it real quick, you see that I've got two buttons here, they'll come into effect later. Um, so here's the script and I'll be talking about the different variables and giving an example use case of each individual um, variable. So, let's let's start off with the um, percentage signs on each side of the variable. That's, to, that's for when you want to use the current iteration of that specific variable. So, for example, here I have a for loop and inside I have these, I'm accessing the slot inside of, as a parameter for the get slot item but I only want the slot of the current iteration you know, as it iterates from 36 to 40. So the um, so I'm gonna put it in between the different parentheses. Same for the log. Now, when you want to put any variable inside a log or echo um, statement, you need you, you need these as well so that it so that it um, prints out the value of the variable instead of just the name of the variable. Next up is the AND and hashtag. Those simply represents what type of variable you're dealing with. So here I'm using a get slot item and it will get the name of so the get slot item you give it a slot and it'll output um, a value into this variable which would be the name or the ID of the item, and here in this in this um, variable, it will output the value of the stack size of the item inside that slot. So that that's basically a number, and that's a string, an integer string. Um, a string is a row of characters. So let me just log the different types of variables: the percentage, the slot, the stack size, and the ID of R. Um, there you go. So, in chat, you can see that it opens up the inventory and looks at slots 36 to 40. So, 36 to 40, and you can tell it they're all they're all 32, and all the others here are um, at 64. So, you know, it's going through the slots that you want, and it's you know it's iterating through the right slots, and it managed to output the their their stack sizes and the ID of the item. I could put some more complicated items. Um, let's let's say um, just a, a pig spawn egg there and test that. Actually, slash key mode zero. There's no point using it in creative. Um, yeah. There you go, and it. It goes 40 and 1 and spawn egg, because there's only one spawn egg in that slot. Right, so I do not need that. Okay, now for the next for the next bit, you can see I put a set global here. Um, that is basically saying, setting a uh, variable here. You can put this inside a script, this line, when it can be inside any single script outside of, um, outside or inside of your script. And this one says at welcome equals everything is logged. Now, I clicked this already in the past. And now if I go back to my script, you, you can see it log welcome. So this at sign here, at and then var, represents the global variable. So global variable means a variable that's not specific to your script. All these other variables are specific to the script and you cannot access them from outside your script. So the little, putting a little at sign in front means that it gets saved uh, somewhere else and you can, it, you, it gets saved you know, outside of your script and you can access it from anywhere. Um, very useful. Uh, here I put a little and sign because the welcome variable that I want is a string. Um, but it also works for integers as well. You just have to put at integer var and you'll be able to access it. Access it there. So 
if if I if I test again, you can see that it goes through everything, and at the end you have everything is logged, even though in my script there is nowhere that's written everywhere is logged. The everywhere is logged bit is just the value of this variable. So I hope this clip this um clip clears things up for you when it comes to variables and um uh yeah, basically the basics of variables in the macro mod. I hope this helped. See you guys next time.